Drawing a dog and black subject with pastels. This is the dog I'm going to show you. This is just a brief demonstration to give you an overview of it. My drawing is done on pastel matte paper. This pastel pencils I'm using at the moment. Just doing the outlines of certain areas so that I know actually where they are. To block the subject in I'm using pan pastels because I found nothing really that's as fast and as accurate as pans. And I can quickly block the areas in and block in the black areas, the brown areas. And what I'll do then, I'll build detail on top of this. So the pans are really giving me a very fast, solid underlayer. Now when it comes to the details, that's when I start switching to the pencils because they give me that much more um, ability to, to draw accurately. And of course, I can also sharpen them to a fine point as well. Blocking in the real darks now with a very opaque pastel stick and then switching over to the pencils as well before blending that into the pastel matte surface. Now the pastel matte really holds the pastel well so when you're blending with your finger it doesn't smudge all the way out. It still stays basically in position but you can get a nice softness to it. Now, as I said this is just a basic overview. There's the full one and a half hour version over on my Patreon channel. I think I've got about 900 supporters on there now getting access to all my videos and obviously in one and a half hours I can show you lots and lots of this at real time speed and voice over and tell you exactly what I'm doing, the tools I'm using, the supplies and everything like that. So as you can see, using mainly the pastel pencils and the brand I generally use for my wildlife work would be the same for pet portraiture and that's Carbothellos. I think they're a great blend of, they're not too hard, they're not too soft and they've got some lovely tones and colours in there that's ideally suited to wildlife and pet portrait as well. Just blocking in a background, keeping it really simple just like on a photograph and I'm using soft pencils for that because obviously I wanted it to blend out nice and smoothly before coming back in now with the pencils themselves. Now I'm not trying to go super accurate on it to get it photorealistic. I wanted more of a painterly look to this than some of my other pastels and also I didn't like that the highlights on the top of the dog's head was very very bright. I wanted more of a soft look to it so I didn't go for the super uh, bright highlights on there. I figured that keeping them a little bit more muted would make this puppy look even more cute and cuddly if that's even possible. And don't forget as artists we can actually do what we want and change it to how, how we would like to have the subject. We haven't got to follow that photograph completely. Just put in some of the detailing on the nose. Now remember I've got a whole video on that lots in real time on my YouTube channel specifically on dog's nose so if you have trouble with that you can see that video on here and notice as well when I'm doing these pastels I'm working mainly from dark to light with pastels that's one of the benefits we got the ease of going light over dark so I like to use that to my advantage now a quick tip if you want an area to be very very dark for instance under the puppy's chin then I go straight in with those darks I don't have anything very bright or light underneath it if I want say a, a very light area perhaps a highlight I make sure that I haven't got anything too dark under there and that allows me to get those pure colors down so they can be nice and contrasty now I'm just adding some of the final details keeping those edges nice and blurred and soft because I don't want that cut out appearance that you see in lots of beginners works. Just adding a few details here and there with the pencils. And remember over on my Patreon channel lots and lots and lots of videos on pastels, oils and other mediums. If you're looking for even more great art sources I've really got you covered. First off I've got a Patreon channel that's been going well over a year or so packed with around about 50 or more videos and new ones every month. Lots of the videos are uh, many hours long so you can see they're really really in-depth subjects such as um, turtles, birds, elephants, big cats, you name it, it's on there. So that's my Patreon channel. 
and also on that Patreon channel before I go on to something else I've got a secret Facebook group so only the members are actually on there it's the most supportive and friendly Facebook group that I've ever seen I know I'm biased but it really is we've got uh, four or five hundred members on there and they all help each other so that's a great added bonus that comes free with it also you get line art every month as well and we've just designed a brand new companion website for it so if you've joined other patrons and uh, channels and you found it very very difficult to navigate around we got this free website that comes with it all the videos are now just a single click away couldn't be any easier than it is i've also got my site jasonmorgan.co.uk lots of tutorial videos dvd discs and downloads on there and if you're struggling for reference photos for your art projects i've got some of those too i've got 900 plus on my website wildlifeart-online.com and they will be copyright free for you so you can paint and draw from them and sell your work with no copyright worries whatsoever so hope you like those extra resources and i'll see you all again real soon